Well, about typical. I'm behind spreading urea because just like last year, Mother Nature decided that she wants to shut everybody down. My all right, just probably should have been done about a week and a half ago, but we've had rain every day since a week and a half ago. And I was hoping, well, maybe if I wait it out, things will be better. Hopefully it'll clear up. Well, it's supposed to rain the rest of the week, and if I wait any stinking longer, I won't be able to get over the corn. So, uh, da -da -da -da. so we want to go about two and three quarters. <laughs> But on the upside, the corn is loving all the rain. I'm actually kind of impressed. Um, yeah, I was looking. I had one field that uh, right after I got it planted, the very next day it rained like like a cow pissing on a flat rock, and it crusted over and corn came up kind of thin in low spots but ain't nothing I could do about it. it it ain't bad enough to warrant trying to replant it but if you look at it from the road you can tell where the thin spots are this field however I am very impressed with I've had corn on this one yeah I had corn on this one time two years ago and it uh, it was it was a dry year and it did all right, but with all the rain we've had this year, because this is all it's not quite beach sand, but it's on its way there. So with all this rain, this field's doing pretty good. But uh, beans struggled a little bit because I got them in the ground and then it didn't rain for seven days, so they came up a little thin. But oh. 1600's got a wide front on it too, by the way, now. We're going to put a loader on that. But, uh... And I guess get rolling here. I guess to help if I engage the web. It's the only thing I don't like about the spreaders our co-op has. They don't got the hydraulic web control so instead of spray, spreading the end row first and then then finishing or then working the center you just gotta go back and forth you can't do the end rows so but it is what it is my chandler I was using for spreading my tree plant belongs to a friend of ours and I would use it but it won't fit down 30 inch rows so thing I don't like about co-op spreaders they see so many acres they're kind of a chariot and the ultimate goal is just gonna have to be to get my own spreader here one of these days I'm gonna 
Go on there. There you go. Yeah, we're on now. Gonna have it back in the son of a bitch up. Good enough for what it is.
One, two, like four to go. And hopefully I don't get stuck. But I doubt I'll get them all done today anyway because I'm sure some of them are really are too wet. I'm just going to try to get the tall ones done, done and out of the way. And we're supposed to be back to rain and thunderstorms tomorrow, so that's going to have to be what works this stuff in. Normally I'd cultivate it, but Mother Nature just ain't going to cooperate with us this year. bit of a phosphorus deficiency going on here but that's also what you see when you've been getting anywhere between an inch and an inch and a quarter of rain a day for almost two weeks